and welcome back to the next tutorial where we're going to explain and how the play animation action is working. So we will use to control the blinds that I animated in uh, Unity itself. We will demonstrate instead of creating a 2D button, we will create a 3D button. We, as I explained in the first video, we have 2D button and 3D button. Actually, it works exactly the same thing. It's just we can turn any 3D object into a button with the same functionalities as all of this. We'll demonstrate this by selecting this. As you can see, this this is a my just. A 3D mesh renderer has nothing else, just material with a simple texture. And then in the VR element, we just drag in our 3D object. And as you can see, we can we have this uh, a couple of options over here. We can uh, change. We have different options for uh, collider mesh, collider types. It's a box for simple. If it looks like a box, just use a box, don't uh, make it complicated. A mesh, we can have custom meshes, we just drag in uh, a custom developed uh, or modeled uh, collision box. We can use a sphere, if your shape use, uh, is, looks like more like a sphere or a capsule. We, it's easily to adjust and add more if you want, but these are the, I think the most common ones. The one other thing that we can add is uh, a sphere but so we use a box then the colors when we hover over it instead of using a texture we can use different colors and as I told you uh, before uh, we have exactly the same action types we will select play animation we add this action and we don't need a text we can add um, a text by using a 2D button, uh, add an icon, add the text. I will explain that there as well. We can do that. We will explain that as well. If I say add, it means that now my mesh render, we had only mesh render material. I have a box collider because it's also added the script that you saw just recently. And most important part the animation script we have the uh, different two types animation type the legacy if you bring your animation from uh, from your favorite 3d modeling application uh, 3d studio max blender or the animator that uh, you when you create your animations within unity so we you select your object that has an animator uh, applied so we go to our object then select our uh, lines animated where the animator is applied and then we say okay and we add it we say this play animation it's a trigger because we want to trigger and a parameter value you just tick it on we'll explain this and you can find this more information in the manual for what it is and actually that's it so now if I hover over it with my camera again just turn and go down this place it triggers that's it really easy to build uh, to create a, a, an object uh, and make an object as a trigger as a button as I mentioned we can create a button on top so it's easily recognizable that there is an animation here we just call this switch lines we can give this a icon that looks like something is animating like or has an animation we put it on normal we don't need any action because we don't want to have it interact with anything we add a text we call it 
switch lines and as you can see switch lines make it 180 it's a little bit slightly rotated because it's looking at the angle I just move it a little bit forward or actually and then move the text a little bit higher like this and then move it up here so make sure that it's closed there so now there is you have your text it doesn't interact you can even uh, as you see the you we can even disable the collider because we don't want any any interaction it will not do anything anyways but just to make sure so that's the play animation action and for uh, the next tutorial we will go and handle play audio um, hope you liked it and see you in the next tutorial